Hello, hello, and welcome back to another video. I'm Jake the Genealogist, and in today's video, we're going to be tracing the line of what I call the most inbred man in history. Now, one could argue that there's been people who have been more inbred than him, but he's very well known for being very inbred, and so basically, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to be tracing his line all the way back to Philip the First of Castile and Juana of Castile, also known as Juana the Mad. And so, um, through there, we're going to get through many, 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 many generations of um, countless inbreeding. And so, it's going to be an interesting video. Alright, so let's start. So, first we have the man himself, Charles II, King of Spain. Now, he was born in 1661 to Philip IV, also King of Spain, and Mariana of Austria. And, well, because of inbreeding, it's thought by researchers, he was very, 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 very sickly as a child, and as an adult, too, and he died at the ripe old age of 38. Yep, he did not live very long at all, mostly because of his debilitating illnesses and also his deformities, specifically his very, very, very pronounced Habsburg chin. Um, there's a photo of him on the screen, by the way, right here, and you can see how big his Habsburg chin is. It's probably the biggest out of any of the Habsburg monarchs, and he was became king of Spain. And, like I said, he died in 38, in 1700, and he was the last member of the Habsburg family to rule as a king of Spain. And so now we're going to be tracing his line. So, as mentioned before, Philip IV and Mariana were her, his parents. But here's the weird thing. So, Mariana's parents were Ferdinand III, who's a Holy Roman Emperor, and Maria Anna of Spain. And Maria Anna actually happened to be brothers with Philip IV. And so, you know what that means? Inbreeding! Yay! And so, basically what that means is that Mariana was basically the niece of Philip IV. Basically, she married her uncle. No big deal. No big deal. It's not like they share 5% of their blood, is what I mean to say. And so, if that isn't weirder, so now we move on. So, Maria Anna and Philip's parents were Margaret of Austria and Philip III, also King of Spain. And Ferdinand III's parents were Ferdinand II, another Holy Roman Emperor, and Maria Anna of Bavaria. And then, of course, in typical um, rural fashion, they married each other, and so, basically, what that means is that Ferdinand II is both Charles' great-uncle and also his great-grandfather on completely different sides of the family tree. It's pretty insane. It's also worth noting that back down here on the line, Charles II to Philip IV, Philip IV would be his great-uncle, both his great-uncle, his first cousin, and also his father, all at the same time. And if that isn't crazy enough, all eight of his great-grandparents are all descended from these two. And so that's pretty disgusting, if you ask me. And no offense to people that commit incest, but, um, yeah, uh, a little bit, um, a little bit dicey, um, there's the adjective I'm gonna use there. But anyways, so, enough with the shenanigans, so, moving on, we get, um, to Margaret of Austria and Philip III. Now, as mentioned, Margaret, brother, was Ferdinand II, and their parents were Charles II, who was the Archduke of Austria, and, um, Maria Anna of Bavaria, no relation. Well, actually, probably some cousin relationship or something, but, um, not the same people. 
And, um, so then, through Maria Anna, we get to Albert V, the Magnanimous, Duke of Bavaria, and Anna of Austria. And, um, through Anna of Austria, we get to Ferdinand I, back to the Holy Roman Emperors, and his wife, Anne of Bohemia. Now, Ferdinand I, as you can see here, is a child of Philip and Juana. And so that kind of completes our first violent tree. And then, if we go back, um, we get to Charles II. And Charles II, coincidentally, happened to be siblings with his wife's mother, Anna of Austria, so you know what that means, another uncle-niece marriage, and so that's the second one in this tree, pretty crazy. And he was also siblings with Maximilian II, who's a Holy Roman Emperor, who happened to be, of course, Anna of Austria's father, among many other things. Um, and they were all children of the aforementioned Ferdinand I and Anna. Okay, so now if we move up this line to um, Philip III to his parents, his mother, Maria of Spain, um, um, I mean, his grandmother, Maria of Spain, and his father, Philip II, were siblings. And so, you know what that means once again? Another uncle niece marriage third one of this tree philip the second obviously marrying anna of austria his niece that's the third one in this tree the third one it's absolutely insane and they were both children of isabella of portugal and charles the fifth once again another holy roman emperor a lot of holy roman emperors and kings of spain in this tree as you can see and um, likewise, Charles V was a son of Philip and Juana, once again. And so, yeah. And now we're gonna get on to this kind of less talk to that side of the tree. So, Maria Anna of Bavaria, her man's father, I mean, mother, <laughs> God, I messed this up so often. Um, so her parents were William V, Duke of Bavaria, and Renata of Lorraine. And it's also worth mentioning William was siblings with Maria Anna. So this Maria Anna maybe named her after her. Probably not. Um, but they were siblings, and so he shares that same line. But going up for Renata, her parents were Francis I, Duke of Lorraine, and Christina of Denmark. And it's for Christina, we move um, to her father, Christian II of Denmark, also a king of Denmark and many other Scandinavian regions in that time. And Isabel of Austria tragically died at 25. And it was Isabella who is the daughter of Philip I of Castile and Juana of Castile. And so, basically, um, we've rounded out this tree. Um, much, 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 much inbreeding. It's easy to see how Charles II gained a reputation for being the most inbred man in all of Europe, if not in the whole entire world. So that's that, guys. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you want to see some more content, Please let me know by giving me a like on this video, and feel free to subscribe, and I'll see you guys all later. Goodbye.